What's up guys? Welcome to another Juice Motor Parts tutorial. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about um, crankcase compression ratios. Uh, anytime any kind of work is done uh, on a part inside the crankcase, the crankcase of your two-stroke engine is probably going to look something like this. Two halves of a hole. They kind of mate together and they form the bottom end of your engine. Now, in a previous video um, or an article, online article that we um, that we published <coughs> on our site, we spoke about um, we spoke about uh, crankshaft balancing, and that involved reducing the amount of uh, the, the amount of surface area or the amount of volume rather on um, on on your crankshaft flywheels. Um, removing it in certain places, you know, will will um, help you achieve a certain balancing factor. Um, that would reduce the amount of vibrations that your engine produces at a certain RPM range for the single cylinder, single crankshaft, uh, two-stroke engine, typically. So um, the flip side about that is anytime you remove any amount of material um, of any part that's located in the crankshaft, uh, sorry, in the crankcase, which is, um, you know, you're removing material from the crank, uh, from the flywheels, which are located inside of the crankshaft. Remember, all this is all sealed. So what effectively what you're doing is you're increasing the amount of volume inside your crankcase. Uh, this is bad for a number of reasons. Uh, num reason number one is that um, these engines, as you know, as they were designed, as poorly as they were designed, uh, they were still calculated under certain under certain conditions, um, and that included keeping the crankcase to be you know fairly consistent in their designs. So what happens is um, when you increase the volume, you decrease the crank the crankcase pressure. The crankcase pressure is what's responsible for um, basically shooting the fuel up through your transfer ports which um, as you can see here these are the transfer ports um, every time your piston uncovers a transfer port fuel fresh fuel is shot into the engine um, and it's shot in at a certain pressure at a certain you know uh, yeah at a certain pressure so it's, it's important to maintain that pressure um, unless you have a knowledge of calculating and um, and working with different crankcase uh, crankcase Oof, having drawing a blank there for a second, but uh, unless you have a knowledge of dealing with different crankcase pressures, um, it's best to keep things, you know, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty consistent. So one way that I want to talk to you guys today about um, about uh, holding that that volume inside the crankcase after you've balanced your engine or done any kind of work in the engine is um, I'm actually going to borrow this idea from uh, from a user that I've that I've read uh, throughout online. Um, I believe his website is something like dragonfly75.com or something of that nature. Um, he, um, I'll put his, uh, I'll put his name in, in descriptions. It's a great idea, uh, and it's using JB Weld. Now, um, the way it would work is, it's this is a an epoxy that you can affix to various parts of the crankcase, and um, what you could do is after you've removed and kind of um, calculated the uh, the amount of material that you removed um, or estimated or guesstimated you substitute all that material in the crankcase with JB Weld. Um, or something else, that, something else that you could do is use uh, silicon R RTV sealant. Um, you can even, uh, all the holes that you've drilled inside of your crankcase or, or your crankshaft, you can fill those up with silicon to effectively take, um, take up the space that you removed inside of the crankcase volume, uh, thereby keeping that, that volume um, Keeping that volume fixed, even though you've removed you know certain some amount of weight from the crankshaft. So um, JB Weld is great. Um, it's extremely high temperature stuff. It won't you know um, just as long as you don't put it near anything in the crankcase that involves friction, like you know putting it around uh, you know in, in, inside let's say here this bearing hole, um, you know or you know putting a you know putting a thin layer around around this circle the circle part here would probably be good, or even concentrating it in a certain part in a certain part. Just as long as you're taking up volume inside that crankcase after you've um, reduced, uh, after you've taken off material out, out of your uh, off of your flywheel or crankshaft, um, is, is is a great idea to you know keeping the um, keeping your performance consistent, um, as well as a great way to identify potential problems or to um, isolate sorry potential problems that could uh, you know occur. Uh, so again. Uh, this tutorial was about ways that you can take up volume inside of your um, inside of your crankcase to keep the uh, crankcase volume uh, or the crankcase uh, yeah the crankcase volume consistent. 
So if you have any questions, uh, you know, definitely shoot us, uh, shoot us a message, leave some comments, and we try to get back to you as soon as we can. And again, thanks, guys. Uh, if you want any more tips, visit our high-performance tip section at juicemotorparts.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, get juiced.